Hello and welcome back to our channel. I'm Danish, and you are watching Iraqi Dinar YouTube channel. Hopefully you all will be fine let's start today. The removal of the three zeros from the Iraqi Dinar is a monumental shift in Iraq's economic landscape, one that the government is methodically preparing its citizens for. This significant monetary reform is expected to reshape the nation's financial future, with wide-ranging implications for both daily life and the broader economy. The move is part of a larger strategy that seeks to restore confidence in the national currency and create an environment where transactions are simpler and more secure. This change, though seemingly straightforward, represents a turning point that could impact not only Iraq but the region as a whole. To understand how this will unfold, it's essential to look at the broader context to both historical and economica that has led to this moment. In recent months, discussions surrounding Iraq's currency have taken center stage in national discourse, sparking immense interest and concern among citizens, economists, and international investors alike. The prospect of removing the three zeros from the Iraqi dinar has drawn many comparisons to Kuwait's experience in the early 1990s, a historical precedent that offers both guidance and caution for Iraq's path forward. Many Iraqis are eager to understand what such a sweeping monetary change could mean for their day-to-day -day lives, as well as how it will impact the nation's long-term economic health. Iraq's move towards a more stable, reformed currency has become a topic of intense speculation, especially given the complexities of its current financial system. For Iraq, grappling with high inflation, currency devaluation, and a persistent black market has long undermined public trust in its financial institutions, and many hope this move will reverse those trends. Kuwait's experience in 1990, when it removed three zeros from its currency following the Iraqi invasion, is particularly instructive. After the war, Kuwait needed to rebuild public confidence in its currency, restore stability and curb the inflation that had destabilized its economy. By revaluing the Kuwaiti dinar, the government aimed to simplify transactions, reduce inflation, and ensure smoother day-to-day -day financial operations. The similarities between Iraq's current financial situation and that of Kuwait in the early 1990s are hard to ignore. Both countries have faced economic crises, and both saw the need to restore trust and stability through monetary reform. However, while Kuwait's decision was relatively straightforward, Iraq faces a more complex set of challenges, particularly due to its vast oil wealth, political instability, and regional pressures. For Iraq, the removal of the three zeros is expected to have a profound effect on how transactions are conducted. For instance, if the Central Bank of Iraq proceeds with the reform, a 25,000 dinar note would essentially become a 25 dinar note. While the numbers on the currency change, the actual purchasing power is meant to remain stable. The government's intent is clear, they wish to reduce the psychological impact of large denominations while maintaining the value of the currency. But how smooth this transition will be depends largely on how well the public is informed and prepared. The authorities have indicated that citizens will have a set time frame, possibly around three weeks, to exchange their large denomination notes for smaller ones. This short window will be crucial, as those who failed to make the switch may find themselves at a financial disadvantage. Beyond the logistics of currency exchange, there are broader factors at play that could significantly influence the success of this reform. Iraq's broader economic framework is shaped by key laws and policies, including the ongoing discussions surrounding Article 140 and the hydrocarbon law. These two pieces of legislation are pivotal in shaping Iraq's future. Article 140, in particular, addresses the question of disputed territories and aims to resolve conflicts around the equitable distribution of resources, especially oil. 
Prime Minister Mohammad Shia al Sudani has recently emphasized that negotiations around Article 140 are nearing completion, which would represent a critical step toward national reconciliation and economic stability. At the same time, the implementation of the hydrocarbon law is crucial to ensure that Iraq's oil wealth is distributed fairly among its citizens. Without these legal frameworks in place, the currency reform could become another layer of economic complexity, rather than a solution to Iraq's financial woes. The revenue generated from oil and gas must be managed efficiently, and the laws surrounding these resources are directly linked to how Iraq will manage its currency in the future. In a nation so dependent on oil, ensuring that the benefits of this wealth reach the broader population is essential for long-term stability. The government is also grappling with the intricacies of managing its public budget and ensuring that salaries for public sector employees are paid on time. Iraq has recently introduced a three-year budget plan, which plays a critical role in funding essential services and maintaining social cohesion. Public sector employees, who rely on timely salary payments, are watching closely to see how this new economic framework will affect them. If the budget is not carefully aligned with the new currency value, the entire financial system could experience disruptions that would affect millions of people. With the reform in motion, the government is also planning to introduce lower denomination currency notes. These smaller denominations will hold real purchasing power and, together with the new census, reflect Iraq's effort to modernize its economy. Public education will be crucial during this transitional period. Citizens need to understand how the removal of the zeros will affect their daily lives. The government has committed to making communication a key component of the process, ensuring that people know how to exchange their currency and navigate the changes. Those who fail to act within the designated time frame may risk significant financial losses, making timely action essential. Understanding exchange rates and staying informed about official announcements will be paramount in preventing confusion or exploitation. The Central Bank of Iraq will play a central role in overseeing the transition, ensuring that policies are transparent and that the process runs smoothly. Trust in the Central Bank will be a deciding factor in how well these reforms are received by the public. The bank's ability to manage this transition effectively will be vital to maintaining public confidence, not just in the currency, but in the broader economic reforms the government is implementing. For the successful implementation of Article 140 and the hydrocarbon law, a transparent and stable official exchange rate is crucial. This rate will facilitate economic transactions, particularly those related to Iraq's vast oil wealth, and ensure the fair distribution of resources among the population. Without a stable exchange rate, the benefits of Iraq's hydrocarbon wealth could remain out of reach for those who need it most. As Iraq moves forward, it's clear that the removal of the three zeros is just one part of a much larger effort to stabilize the economy and lay the foundation for long-term growth. This reform is not just a symbolic gesture it represents a comprehensive strategy designed to enhance purchasing power, attract foreign investment and restore public trust in the Iraqi dinar. With proper implementation, the reformed currency system could also serve as a catalyst for attracting foreign investors, particularly those looking to tap into Iraq's rich natural resources. The success of these reforms will depend on the government's ability to build trust among its citizens. Transparent communication, effective implementation and a commitment to addressing Iraq's underlying economic challenges will be key to gaining public support. As Iraq enters this new era, the world will be watching closely, with hopes that the country can emerge stronger and more stable, ensuring a brighter future for all its citizens. The removal of the zeros marks a pivotal moment in Iraq's economic journey, and while challenges remain, the potential for success is clear.